us up with the mula. Mula, what you doing? You stupid. Open the mosh pit. Um, rule number one when you do a show, I learned this from my OGs. Never do sound check in the same fit you're gonna perform. I always bring an extra yada. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Miles Minnick, and I want to tell you a quick story. So, a few months ago, I was working this nine to five job full time, 40 hours a week, but my career was also exploding on the side. So, every week I'm doing shows, two or three shows a weekend, calling off dates here and there, here and there. And then I noticed that. I was calling off work so much that it was affecting my job. My manager started to be affected by it. They basically were in a place where they wanted me to choose between this or that. And to be honest, I had to make a choice. Should I choose the career and the calling on my life? Or should I choose this nine to five job? Then I said, God, I need you to do something because you're blessing me in this area. And even though you bless me with this job, I feel like it's some way holding me back. So I prayed the prayer, and then the very next morning, I got fired. I got fired from this nine to five job, and then it seemed like after I got fired, the windows of heaven <laughs> opened over my life, and the career that was semi-moving, and the calling I was walking in while I was working a nine to five job just began to explode, and God has been taking me everywhere. It's been such a great journey, and I wanna invite you along for the journey. Um, over the next few months, I want you guys to see exactly how my life is operating since I've been catapulted out of this job. And a lot of people, when I tell them, oh, I got fired, they want to almost feel bad for me. But it's a blessing. It's a blessing. And I want to let you guys see what God can do uh, when you trust Him with your life. Man. Yeah, it's the Glow Journal. Let's get it. Never try to push it up on me. Don't do it unless you're ready for a long day. Like, oh, don't hit it. Alright, so a lot of people don't know this, but I grew up, of course, watching the anime, but really what's instilled in me is, is martial arts culture. Like, my dad was intentional about making me watch every kung fu movie he could get his hands on. I'm talking about uh, Crouch and Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Shogun Assassin, even even the Kill Bills. I mean, come on, bro. Uh, Last Dragon, Enter the Dragon, all the Bruce Lee movies. So this glow concept, um, it was inspired from the Last Dragon with Bruce Leroy, right? I don't know if y'all seen this movie, but in The Last Dragon, he has to obtain the glow. He's doing everything he can to get the glow. So we, we adopted that concept of saying that we don't necessarily have to work for the glow, but it's something that you're born with. It's something that's on the inside of you. It's something that God put in you that makes you different. It's not what's on you that makes you flashy, saucy, with the drip. It's what you have on the inside of you, your personality. Uh, your anointing, your talent, you know what I'm saying? So with us having a glow, we want to be the light of the world and make a change in this world to just say, you know, be you, be who God has called you to be, you know what I'm saying? And if you can identify with that, if you feel like you got the glow, then you're a part of Glow Crew, the Glow Crew. You know what I'm saying? They call me Glow Crew, John is Glohan, Dars, Dars. We still trying to get him a name, <laughs> but, uh, and then, then Drew over here, this uh, Glow Pro. Welcome to the glory. And it's time for sound check. To get your Chick-fil-A. Excellent. We're going to do sound check, and we'll be right back in here. Okay, good. All right. Thank All right. you. Oh, yo, Miles, they're looking for you, bro. I'm coming right now. Oh. Uh, Tyler, are you back there? Yeah. Is, where were you playing It's Bad from? Oh, the devil don't want me here to ruin Yeah. Sorry to break it to you. Come on. Will you want a problem? A problem to take it to Usually, I get on shows at the last minute, so they don't got time to put me on a shirt. But check this out. I'm on a shirt, and I ain't dead. And I'm not dead. Looking kind of funny, 
tears, we became next. Really got son, no DNA test. I know my time coming, so I can't be anxious. Got straight through the hard times, tribulations. If you really got an issue, then let it be known in. Yeah. Devil on my melon, I tell him be gone in. Don't give me a mission, I'm focused, I'm going in. On my wrist, on my kiss, got that drip on my clothes. You will slip, you will trip if your click coming close. And the like a tuba. Tuba, I'ma come through. Woo! I'ma come through when I jump off the stage. Pop like a truck with a couple of days. Already know we gon' get in the thing. Mouth of the thing and I go in his sight. What you got? Hey, hey, we gon' talk. No, woo, it's on sight. Hey, hey, we gon' fight. Oh, fight. Yeah, it's a mosh pit. Oh, yeah. Slide in the mosh pit. Oh, yeah. Jump in the mosh pit. Oh, yeah. Well, you talking? Yeah.